Hey Savvy Travel Friends! You know, being a wife to a husband that has an acquired brain injury and a super energetic son with ADHD amongst others, traveling can feel like I'm packing up a small circuit. But guess what? I've mastered the art of flying with special needs in the family and I'm here to spill the tea broken down into pre-airport, airport, and in-flight. Stick around because later on I have a secret fruit tip that has been a lifesaver for motion sickness. Yes, it's a fruit, you wouldn't believe it. And without further ado, let's get into this. Here are the seven pre-airport tips. Number one, check in 24 hours prior to snatch the best seats. I mean, the best free seats possible. If for some reason, there are no empty seats that can accommodate y'all, paying a little bit extra to accommodate everyone together would be worth it, especially if you have kids. Number two, before you set off, familiarize yourself with TSA and Nexus guidelines for that smooth sail through security. Nexus is $50 per adult and it's free for kids 18 years old and below and they're good for five years. Tip number three. If you don't have Nexus, I gotcha. MPC or Mobile Passport Control is a cool app to streamline your entry process in some Canadian airports. Less paperwork, more playtime. Check it out. Tip number four. If you're rocking a pacemaker, just give the security team a little nudge. You don't need to stress about the scanners because they'll give you a little pat down. Tip number five. Don't forget to request a cart to show for you to your gate, especially if your gate is very far. You usually ask for that while you're in the security area. Tip number six. And hey, no one wants surprises. At the airport, so arrive early. Three hours for an international flight and two hours for domestic flights. It's another stress-free guarantee. Tip number seven. Grab a passport holder and sleep. Slap on stickers with everyone's name on it so you can tell who's who and you don't have to open each passport just to find out whose passport it is. Next up, I serve you up with six airport tips. I swear by pants. Good old pants. Trust me, it's like a refrigerator inside the airplane. Number two. These are TSA approved bags for your liquids and you can get them for free at the airport so you can prepare them for your next travel. But if you don't have them, these are very cheap at Amazon and comes in a pack of four. Ah, the magic wand for your ears. Sugar and red dye free lollipops for takeoff and landing. It's a must have or else my kids and I go cuckoo with red dye and sugar. I mean, literally bouncing off airplane walls. Now for a little treat, I got my kids toy that I said I would never ever buy for them. Slime. But it could also be a sensory toy, which helps them and they play with it for hours. And trust me on this one, iPad rules out of the window. You're just trying to survive here, mama. And here's a golden tip. Ask for a cockpit tour. A little thrill for the kids and adults alike. They will give it to you either before or after the flight if the captain is okay with it. And hey, are you enjoying these tips? Tap that button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my travel hacks. Now let's get back to the video. And these are in-flight essentials that are also carry-on essentials. This is the heartbeat of all our travel hacks, our carry-on wonderland. Let's take a peep into Pandora's box that makes travel not just bearable, but enjoyable. Are you ready for the rundown? Number one, travel documents, your travel lifelines, be it the passport, your itineraries that are printed. Keep them safe and don't forget to have a backup in your drive or in your photos folder so that if you need them, they're easily accessible. Emergency contacts, have them handy so it's easy for you to get in touch with them in case they have to save you. Travel insurance documents, your safety safety net. Always have it tucked in with your documents because we won't always have internet everywhere. So it's important that they're easily accessible. Medications. You can't leave this behind. Ensure that you have all necessary medications packed in your carry-on and within easy reach. Also bring the bottles with the names of medication just in case you ask. First aid kit. Because it's better to have your own mini pharmacy with you than be caught without what you need. Band-aids, pain reliever, colosporin, you know, it works. Sensory tools. We haven't forgotten our sensory tubes. Packing some sensory tools to help keep things calm and comfortable. I think we all have some sensory sensitivities. It's just at different levels. Tennis ball. Yes, you heard it right. It's perfect for those impromptu massages to roll away the travel stress. You only need a wall to get those knots out. Favorite toys and comfort items. A cuddly little friend or a familiar blanket. Whatever is left on that blanket for that homey feel. Family face-off over a board game? Count me in. We're talking cards, magnetic tic-tac-toe, travel mazes. I would love to bring bananagrams, but they're not very practical and nobody wants to play with me. Snacks. Always bring snacks. I cannot stress this enough because being hangry is not very good for anybody. Extra clothes. At least two pairs of extra change of clothes. Just in case there are accidents or spills, there is something that you need to change clothes. Non-slip shoes. 
This is great for you to stay grounded, whether you're strolling or exploring. Sunglass and hat. Keep it cool and comfy with some shades and one or two trendy hats. This is good especially for everyone who has ABI, who are more prone to heat exhaustions and the bright sun's rays. Headphones. These are private concert hall in disguise without any bombastic side eye from your neighbors. All your essential gadgets and, and their chargers. Handy extension cord for fuss-free charging at the airport. It's a lifesaver when you're juggling multiple devices with family members and there's only one plug. All right, my friends, the moment you've been waiting for. Drum roll, please. It's green apple time. Yes, you heard it right. Green apples can be a lifesaver when motion sickness strikes. Grab one at the coffee shop at the airport if you forget to pack one. It's not just a juicy treat. Your knight in shining armor against motion sickness. Cruise ships have these on hand for that specific reason. And there you have it, friends. A little peek on how we roll when we are jet setting as a family. Remember, it's all about riding the waves with grace and adapting to the beautiful chaos that is traveling your loved ones. You look back and be joyful for the memories you have created. On my next video, I will unveil the secrets of cruising with your special needs fam. Trust me, it's going to be a game changer. Until then, keep flying high and travel smart. Stay savvy, folks. So you just gonna ask for a